Hello, my lovely viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. So before I start with your reading, I just simply want to ask you for a favor. I've been receiving a lot of messages from my viewers saying that my content and my videos are not being shown on your feed. So I would really like to ask you to please unsubscribe and then subscribe again, don't forget, <laughs> and put the notification bell on so you will not miss my content. And it is highly appreciated since it will be determining the continuation of my channel. So I greatly appreciate that. I love you so much. I thank you so much for your positivity, your views, as well as your comments and likes. Keep on coming and I catch you guys in the reading. Thank you, take care. Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome back. We are going to check in with who or what is coming in for you in the month of November. What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising? And also, don't forget to watch your Venus sign because for me that has been super accurate. Let's see. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords and the Hangman. I, I think like the half of the signs have been getting that Nine of Swords. I mean, obviously for you, you've been in this cycle with this solar eclipse in Libra and then this Taurus eclipse. We've been talking about it, but it has been super heavy. So a lot of this anxiety has been coming up. A lot of things like fears, overthinking, worries, or just just stressed out about a certain situation. But now it looks like with this hangman, you're finally seeing the light. You're finally coming out of a dark space and you're seeing things upside down. You're seeing things from a more positive perspective. It's like a more optimistic perspective, probably. And you're starting to let go, like let go and release the stress, and release the anxiety, understand what, where this is coming from and what you need to do to kind of like counterattack that, uh, that vibration and take more care of yourself, like care of your health, like mental health, as well as your maybe your physical health. And yeah, this is actually what I was feeling, the Two of Pentacles, because in this case, the Two of Pentacles is saying that you may need to put in like practical, like there is always a solution to every problem. And sometimes it's like half of the work that we need to prepare. We need to get more organized. We need to get more kind of like, um, practically more prepared so we don't stress at the last moment we don't get these fears of oh i'm not going to ab uh, able to get this deadline or i'm not going to able to get this done because you will be practically being much more focused on kind of like balancing things out in your life so that's what i feel like with this two of pentacle is talking about it's more like your your ability to prepare more things behind the scenes so you can actually eliminate this stress, eliminate this frustration. Or if you've not been giving too much time and care for your mental health or for your physical health and you're not going to the gym or whatever, you're really incorporating that in your regular routine so you get more, like less stress and you, you get more done. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of practical uh, issues here, but for some of you, obviously, this could be also talking about like bigger issues in life, right? Like your relationships, your personal life. So let's see. But regardless of what it is, all I'm seeing is that you're getting that aha, like the light bulb. Like, okay, this is what it is. This is what I need to do. I just need to work a little bit harder on this uh, part of my life and then things will kind of like ease out for some of you if there were any financial issues you're ready to kind of like hustle on the side and be like well I'm going to have to struggle a little bit but at least I have less stress when it comes to paying my bills you know like these type of adjustments you're right like I'm getting like you're making clear adjustments page of Pentacles okay material adjustments financial adjustments, administrational ad adjustments, like, okay. Mm. Not ready for love, aren't you? Oh, gosh, if this is your energy, Libra, you're just like dismissing everything and everyone that could come in with love. Like that's what the King of Swords with the Ace of Cups reverse. It's like, you don't want to deal with bullshit. You are already dealing with so much on your plate, so much on your mind, and 
with this King of Swords in the heart of your reading, looking at the Ace of Cups reversed, you're, you're a tough cookie. <laughs> like, this is a tough cookie, Libra. Like, you're in this energy field of, like, do not mess with me at all. At all. Like, come with me straight. Come with me with facts. Come with me with realness and rawness, or I'll eat you raw. <laughs> all right, so I don't know who you're talking to, or not talking to at this point, but, um, <laughs> oof. Like you're not dealing with small little things and there could be someone trying to give you some type of opportunity here and you're you're feeling like okay stop breadcrumbing me like dude i got 99 problems but it ain't ones okay like that's the type of energy that i'm getting here that's exactly what i am getting here you got the ten of cups okay some ease I'm going to clarify that King of Swords. I mean, obviously, it could be also someone else, but this is your reading, so I have to deal with your energy. <laughs> uh, Six of Wands. And the Star. Okay, this, this, this is good. This is good. I do see a strong shift here. I don't know what's going to change, how that's going to change, all I'm seeing is that you're going to find so much more peace and harmony. I think because you're going to feel so much more comfortable standing up for yourself, having these boundaries up, um, getting things within your own life in order. And that is itself going to give you so much more peace that you're not going to feel personally attacked or personally invaded by someone else's lack. All right, if you know what I mean. Let me just see if my microphone is on. Of course it is, yeah. That's my stress in life. <laughs> I wish that was my only stress in life, but but yeah. I see that you're, you're getting to a piece of calmness when it comes to your relationship. So could have been that work was not going well for a certain period of time. Your friendships, your relationships, the relationship with your father, for some of you, things have not been going quite that will, but there is peace and harmony. People that are supporting you, loving you, caring for you, and emotionally supporting you. I think that this, this is what you, you're going to feel more stronger about uh, with the Six of Wands. It's like finally feeling like you, you're out of some type of struggle or some type of an inner battle. And this is that wish that is gonna come true. This is healing as well, forgiveness. But yeah, I'm going to clarify what that means. But first, I'm going to clarify that King of Swords is in your heart. So you may have also turned cold to someone that you strongly cared for. Because you were not on the same page. Page of Pentacles with the King of Swords is absolutely not on the same page. Even if it's not, not love related and this is work related, let me just give you an example. The Page of Pentacles could be an energy of like... Well, this is your race, <laughs> a little breadcrumb, and you'd be like, excuse you, no, like, this is what I deserve, logically or factually, this is what it is, and you're, this is not enough, we're not on the same page, I'm not agreeing, I don't, I don't accept what you're offering right now, so there has been an offer that you've declined. King of Swords, clarify the King of Swords in the heart of your reading. Libra, this could definitely, like I said, you turning cold, ice cold in love towards someone. God, give me the strength. God, give me the strength. The Two of Cups, for God's sake. The, the Two of Cups on you turning so cold, like ice cold. This is a soulmate, Libra. I know you're mad, that's what I feel. I feel like you're mad, but this is someone that you can't, like even if you want to, even if your brain is just saying like on a logical side, like this does not make sense. I'm not agreeing with that. And I know, I know a lot of you are feeling like that because understandable with that page of pentacles. 
right? If someone is breadcrumbing you, they're giving you like the little piece of their timeline and their time slot, like, well, I can only make it between 4 and 5 p.m. That's it. Like, that's all I can give you for the whole week. Uh, of course, you're not going to accept that, right? Like, you're just going to be like, excuse you. <laughs> Thought when we were in a relationship. What do you mean just one hour a week? What? <laughs> excuse you. <laughs> Someone needs to come and save me from this. The lover's card with the two of cups. So you just got ice cold on your own twin flame. You're just like, I ain't dealing with this shit. <laughs> the Empress. Okay, I, I, I'm going to stop this reading because it's just taking a toll on me right now, Libra. But how deep can you rationalize such a deep connection? It's like, it, it's so deep. It's like this is someone that gets under your skin in the most in the best way in the best possible way but also in the worst possible way right you know ben la uncle under your skin that's really what i'm getting like ooh, listen to that listen to ben la uncle not frank sinatra ben la uncle under my skin that's your song but there, there is just deep love here. There is no way to deny that. You can deny it for now, but you're not going to be denying it for a long time. This is a relationship that eventually is going to find its way back to one another because it is destined. Yeah, the, the sun. I mean, the sun is the most positive card in the deck. It's all about prosperity, happiness, joy new beginnings, healing, positivity. So, yeah. You may want this person to make a decision. You know, there's no way to see things from a different side right here. A new romantic cycle begins, Libra. So maybe you've not been very much in that romantic element in your life but with this energy coming through in the near future with the ten of cups you're going to start to feel more romantic ready to express yourself ready to kind of like get over whatever this, this has been in the past that has stressed you like the informations are coming it's the informations are being downloaded for you to you right now and it does require you to put a little bit extra effort with that two of pentacles because that's not like easy peasy energy as in like oh i'm just going to lay down and lay lay back and we'll see whatever happens no the two of pentacles is you gotta put in a little bit extra work i know many of you always want to hear like they need to put in the work we all need to put in the work honey <laughs> honey as long as you're not in uh like giving labor or something you're not giving birth here, you gotta, what do you mean, so yeah, that's when you really need to put in the work as a woman. So we women, we also need to put in the work, whether that is within ourselves or in the relationship. And you know what's even more funny? Oh yeah, the empress and the emperor, you and this person are meant to be together this is a spiritual connection the 11 11 card you're going to see 11 11 popping up multiple times on your screen um angel of pleasure yeah take pleasure in the things you do so you've not been taking a lot of pleasure maybe you've been rationalizing things as in like no you're never gonna get it my love you're never gonna get it sweet love that's what I feel like you guys you're hot to handle oh Libra you are very hot to handle right now is what I get but this person really likes that about you they really like that trust me they like your shadow work they like your shadow side they, they like the darkness within you they like your light as well but I, they also like this meow. they like a little bit uh, shadowy uh, Libra 
Oh, who is running and who is chasing? If you would ask me, it's like you've been chasing this person for quite some time and you were so tired and you were like, you know what? F this. 99 problems, but I ain't one. Now this, this whole thing is being switched around. Now you are the runner and you're like, I'm going to ghost you. I'm going to ghost you. I'm going to let you know how it feels to get ghosted. And bam, this person is kind of like coming back around. Now they want to communicate. Now they all of a sudden want to open up and confess something or um, kind of like array some type of confusion here. What is this? Yin, rise of the divine feminine. Rise of the divine feminine. Well, that is definitely you. And I think that you being in your king of swords energy, you are in your masculine, rational, logical, detached, cold energy. Okay, you're not being receptive. You're not being emotionally open or available. It's like they are what they want now. But now is the time to soften up. The yin energy is that sun energy. It's about soften up. Well, the yin is actually... In the old ways, let me just explain to you. Nowadays, the sun is the masculine energy, right? Is the ego, is the, is the masculine yang energy. And the feminine is the yin energy, which is the feminine of the moon and being receptive, being emotional and intuitive. Back in the days, I'm really talking about like way back, it was the other way around. It was the feminine was the sun and the masculine was the moon. But because that was not allowed in society, they switched it at one certain point. You have to check it out. If you don't believe me, it's, it's, it's out there. I'm not making this up. But uh, yeah, that's why you have that yin energy looking like the sun. Divination, prophecy, fate, destiny, and future fortune. So you both are destined to be with one another. Absolutely. There's also some traveling going on in the near future, but maybe you also are being asked here with this divination to use also divination tools such as crystals, candles, tarot, um, <clears throat> cacao ceremonies, healing ceremonies, whatever it takes, like any type of divination tools, oils, spiritual oils, healing oils, love oils to kind of like get into your feminine energy to heal that part of you as well or to uh, get you closer to your manifestation get you closer to your dreams and to your destiny okay maybe using divination tools to clear up your path when it comes to any type of blockages transparency we have honestly uh, honestly okay honest authentic genuine and present so this person really loves your authenticity so you act exactly how you feel and it's completely all right to feel for the time being as a king of swords that is completely all right but the, because it shows that you are being authentic you're not going to laugh in someone's face and if you feel like this person is not treating you fairly right with that page of pentacles so Again, you're being authentic. This person is being drawn to you due to your authenticity. So again, keep that up. Keep that uh, vibration up. There is going to be open and honest conversation here. You both need to be transparent. I do feel like you are being transparent here with that king of swords. Now is the time for this person to kind of like step up as well. Yeah. One more. Actually, two more. I want to check in with the Isis deck. We are here. Okay. That's a, that's a Halloween message right there. Something may have surprised you. Someone may have surprised you. Powerful personal growth is also what I am seeing here. So you're definitely going through a growing pain here this is like you getting into that getting out of that cocoon and becoming that butterfly going through your transformation right here spiritually mentally physically yeah emotionally so um 
yeah, you have intoxication, distorted view and overindulgence. So you may need to check in with yourself if you've been too negative or overindulged when it comes to a judgment. Okay. Right. One last bitty and then uh, for the extended I still have the November readings for what's next on their feelings with an all sign so if you haven't purchased that you may want to check in with the extended exclusive reading on the website flower of life you are entering a fertile period of your life. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. So this is letting go of the stress and worry of how things will pan out and give it over to the universe. Let it go and allow things to manifest. Okay, that's what I have for you. Libra, if this message resonated, make sure to drop a like, to share and to comment and I see you soon. Ciao.